Welcome, my political friends of the interweb. Sorry about that little uh, frog we rant. <laughs> I just felt the need. Um, hey, listen. Um, yeah, I'm going to get back to the knockout game video. I'm just not going to clean any guns right now, I don't think. Because I don't want to start going to the battle stall. Actually, I will eventually go back to battle stall. In fact, I should, but... I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, I did want to say, though, about the knockout game, in, in all reality, a lot of people uh, commented that they thought that if you popped off a round or shot, shot the first bad guy, that the rest of them would disperse. And I don't believe that to be true on most, in most situations. I believe that people revert to a mob mentality. And if you have that mentality where there's 18 or 20 people going to go knock somebody out, they're, they've already got to that first plateau of the mob uh, uh, mentality, and it's not going to take much to kick them off to the next level. I don't think at least. So, I mean, bottom line, you know, for those for those people out there, and like I said in my first knockout uh, video, you know, for those people going, I'm ready for the knockout game, are you? You know, honestly, truthfully, <laughs> truthfully, you know, it ain't going to work like that. You know, so it really does come back to the only way that you can actually prevent uh, yourself from becoming a victim, or there's probably no way to really 100% prevent it, but... There's ways that you can mitigate the situation that you're in or will be in. And that is, you know, walk like you have purpose. You know, if you're, if you're in a mall parking lot and it's holiday season where a lot of people end up getting mugged and attacked and, and stuff like that, or if you're a female and it's dark out and you're walking to your car from, to somewhere, be aware of what's going on. Look around you. You know, walk with purpose. Don't, don't be walking, you know, heading down the road with your cell phone in your hand uh, and you're staring at it doing this number here. You know, because that's just going to, that's going to paint the word victim right on your forehead. I mean, literally, that's exactly what's going to happen. And bottom line, you know, just keep, be aware because when they're looking for targets, okay, they, they look for a certain criteria and they really are looking for people that <laughs> literally have victimized me written on them in big, bold uh, letters. And, and, and that's the person that they're going to go after. They're not going to be going after... They Listen, they will go after a young person before they'll go after an old person. If that old person is walking like they mean business and know where they're going and are looking around. Because they know they're not going to get to jump on them. You know? And, you know, by the way, too, it's, I don't remember who mentioned it, but somebody said in the comments that, you know, you shouldn't be find yourself in a situation where you're surrounded by 18 people. And that's true. I mean, don't get me wrong. Some, some situation you're going to walk into, unless you're absolutely paranoid, you may find yourself in, in, in you know, a situation where you're surrounded by a bunch of people. But the truth of the matter is, you know, you should avoid big crowds, especially if it looks like those crowds are with one another. You know, if you have to cross the street, cross the street. You know, whatever you can do to not put yourself in the middle of, of, you know, 10, 12, 18 people, whatever, you know. Anyway, I don't want this to be a real long video. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Uh, not about the frog loop, <laughs> but about the knockout game. Do you really think that if you pop off a couple of rounds, the, the crowd's just going to disperse? Because I can't help but to think Mogadishu. I can't help but to think, you know, uh, L.A. Rice. I mean, what well, Mogadishu is even more important. Now, I'm not saying that the, the, the mob or the kids or the people um, that are playing the knockout game are of the same mentality as the, uh, as the Mogadishians. But I will tell you that in Mogadishu, if you just rent the movie Black Hawk Down or, or watch some of the documentaries on the History Channel regarding it, in Mogadishu, we freaking lit them up. We were shooting them right and left. We were just blowing the shit out of them, but they still kept coming. Okay? And that's the thing about a mob. Mobs take on a life of their own. Literally. They, they take on a life of their own. So avoid it anyway. Avoid all costs. Try to, be, you know, try to exercise good situational awareness. Uh, that's your best bet. Anyway, of course, you should, you should be concealed carried. You should definitely be packing for sure. Uh, but, you know, just know that, you know, don't be stupid. Just because you're packing a firearm does not mean that you can walk around texting and, and, and in general not paying attention to what the hell is going on because it, you're, you're screwing yourself. I mean, you went through the trouble of getting a CCW and you went through the trouble of learning how to use a, a properly, learn how to use a handgun to fight with, but yet you're going to still walk around like some freaking sheep to the slaughter. It doesn't make any sense. So anyway, let me know in the comment section what you think. See ya!